Welcome to Glyndebourne. Nineteen thirty-four, John Christie built an opera house in his garden. Amazing work was done here. People couldn't believe the standard, and it's continued like that ever since. Nineteen ninety-four, his son George Christie knocked the old house down and built a new house to serve the art form and the audience better. We've been in constant evolution in the last 90 years and we're still heading forward. Glyndebourne and Tate have been working for years and it's a long partnership and we've delivered a phased upgrade of the stage automation um, system here. So initially uh, looking at the infrastructure putting the backbone of the automation system, really looking at power and MEP, going into the overhead system. Our engineers worked closely with the in-house team at Glyndebourne to really deliver as much as we could in the space that we had to give them you know, a best-in-class flying system. The original scope of the upgrade, which is still something we hold core, is that we want to have one control system that manages all effects throughout the stage. So that is overhead flying, that could be revolves, that could be lifts, and the core concept is to bring all of that control under one control system. The benefit from having one control system is the timing between effects can be really precisely controlled and for safety they can be interlinked so you can't ever be in a situation where one piece of scenery could clash with the other because you can interlink the two together. We're not now limited by technology in any way. The technology can can give a director or designer almost anything that they want. With these uh, automation installations, we're now at the forefront technologically. We want to continue our partnership with Tate. We want to add to our portfolio of automation equipment, and we want to keep on driving and leading the way technically in, in opera. I think that the um the new automation system has potentially given us endless possibilities with regards to the creative desires of the visiting production teams. It's very difficult to say how far we can go because often what happens is a designer will ask for something, we'll say, no, that's not possible, and then we go, oh, actually, that is possible. And I think that's probably what any producing theatre would, would have to say. There would be no way that they could say, OK, we've reached the limit of the possibilities. The space at Glyndebourne doesn't necessarily lend itself to ideal locations for equipment. So the space was 3D scanned in advance and then all the equipment was sort of tessellated into the space to be able to make sure it fit. The idea with this equipment is that it lasts for generations to come and with that comes the need to service it. So we work really closely with the team in-house at Glyndebourne. On a system like this it wouldn't be possible to install this amount of equipment in this amount of space without working really closely and that close partnership was key to delivering uh, this project successfully. One of the challenges that we had with this phased install, and one of the reasons it was phased, is we had to work around Glyndebourne's festival run, so we could only install during dark periods. That gave us a relatively short amount of time to install quite a lot of equipment. I think the partnership between Glyndebourne and Tate is noticeable from an audience perspective, mainly because we can actually give the directors and the designers exactly what they need. We can respond to their wishes and then we can we can help create their vision. This new system here is going to help us interpret old operas in new ways. We can coordinate movement in a way we could never do before. It's also going to influence what opera is. Now that's always happened, right since the, the beginning of the form. Where an opera is thought of, is going to be put on, influences what the composer can do. So now, we'll be able to look at old operas in a new way, but we'll also be offering something new to composers and writers as they think of the next operas, the ones that are be being reinterpreted in the next hundred years. 
An enormous amount of people at Tate work really hard to uh, deliver this phased upgrade and I can honestly say that the team here are really happy with the system and the quality that we've delivered. Mm -hmm.